Hello again. Here we are again. Let's see what's happening. Let's see what's happening. Hopefully we're connected. Oh, hello. Now we're getting people through. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, hello. How bizarre. Hello, everybody. Well, this is a funny evening, isn't it? <laughs> Alrighty, it's 6.13 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time in the southern suburbs of New South Wales. How are we all? Sorry about the... Um, well, I'm not late. I did come on here at 6 o'clock, but I came on and I had cross-posted to another page, being my business page, and... Because I was doing that, I wasn't seeing any comments. I wasn't getting anybody connected. So if you were making comments and I appeared to be not acknowledging you, I do apologize. Um, I had to end that live video and I have come back in and I'll have to do a repost to my business page. And I hopefully will be able to work out why. How are Sorry. You? I'll just turn that down, keep my eye on it on the phone at the same time. I do apologise as I say, I just don't know why. Um, it just won't do the cross-posting. So again, apologies. But here we are, 6.14pm. Let's get going. That's enough chat. How are we all? And fantastic for Melbourne. Yes, everybody, a round of applause. Everybody who lives in Victoria, particularly Melbourne and surrounds, who have been locked down for what seems a lifetime. You have been wonderful people. You've been so patient. You have been so valiant about how you feel, the good times and the bad. It's so fantastic to see businesses opening and people being able to start to visit each other and travel a few, travel a few kilometers and so forth and start getting back into life. And I, it was so, 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 so exciting. It really was. And I can imagine how a lot of people were feeling. Um, it's been, you know, it's been some really hard times. So for those who have been down in the dumps like Laurie Walker and many other people, you know, freedom has been given back and it's terrible that it was gone. We all experienced it in different ways for different periods of time. And... I just cannot believe how wonderful you people have been in the hard times. So again, congratulations, round of applause to you all. And I hope that you now are all feeling on the up and up and up and that you can start stepping forward and enjoying life again and that things become bigger and better than they were before for you. So that's enough said on that. So for those who don't know me, my name is Trish Murray and I'm a soul coach practitioner. And my business is Pathway to Peace, and I'm here in New South Wales. But I do offer all of my programs and services online. And they are my 28-day soul programs, of which I have two, which actually work out to be six weeks for the period that we would work together. I do uh, readings, so I do soul readings and healings. I do Akashic Record. I go into Akashic Records. Um, I'm a soul coach practitioner, as I say, working with the soul. Um, I do connecting with spirit workshops, um, soul ignition workshop. Um, I am a crystal therapy practitioner, holistic counsellor, and so many more things I am. If you'd like to have a look at what I do and all the services, you can go to my website. And I have put that in the um, prelude to tonight in the blurb. So you can connect with me via my website and see all the things that I do. And if you want to do anything that's not in there, contact me and let me know. So tonight, what are we going to do? Because it's now 6.17 p.m. and we're running late because of technology. So what we're going to do is we're all going to sit back. I can see people are already asking for readings. Um, hello, Frida from England. Um, we get people from all over the world here. Hi, Gay. I'm well, thank you. Um, I've got people coming on from everywhere, all over the world, which is a fantastic. And thank you for being here with me. I do appreciate your company. I really do. And it's 7.13 a.m. in England. So you are up early, Frida. 
Well done. Well done. Hi, Cat. How you doing? Um, so what we're going to do tonight, as you can see, I've got people there asking for readings already. Now, generally with my show, I like to have a bit of a chat. I like to... Um, I, I like to connect and then I will pick people um, to read for. Um, the list is long, Trish. I'm not sh quite sure what you mean by that, Michelle. Do you mean the list of people or list of things to do? So um, if you're popping up for a reading there, you're just going to have to keep posting. But what I prefer you to do is just... Um, Maybe just tune in with me for a moment because I do want to do something which has been, um, you know, part of the plan with Spirit to come in here and, and do tonight. And I don't want to ignore what they want to share with you. Um, so, so please, um, you know, stick with us, stay with us. Um, you know, and I always say that those who are meant to stay for the whole show will stay. And for those who can only drop in, or only want to drop in for a moment to see what's going on. It's all perfectly fine. Yes, Kat, I can see you. I can see Lisa from the UK. Lisa Pritchard from the UK. How are you? Well done to be here as well. Early morning over there. Catherine Holly, thank you. So tonight, what we're going to do, I'm going to ask you all to sit back. And I'm going to ask you to just be comfortable in your chairs or on your lounge or in your your beds whatever it is that you are sitting on that you're comfy on and just be comfy for a moment because we're going to bring spirit in tonight we're going to bring in spirit we're going to bring in um i'm well thank you lisa thank you for asking um just before i go into it i i so appreciate all your comments i just i really want to pop that in i really appreciate your comments so many of you write such kind words of appreciation of me as a person and you know what I bring to the platform here um, and remembering that I do that in conjunction with spirit and I just I so appreciate it it just it makes my heart sing and I just really want to let you know everybody know and sometimes it makes me a bit emotional when I see it because I just think wow you know wow recognition but recognition for the right reasons recognition and it's recognition of love and appreciation Okay, um, so hang in there. I'm not going into messages just yet. I know there's a lot of people popping up there. They want to connect and they want messages and so forth. Tonight is about spirit. It's about bringing in the energy and it's about bringing in um, ancestors. And what I mean by ancestors, yeah, the list is long. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Um, bringing in the energy, bringing in the ancestors, hearing what they've got to say. I'm just going to play the drum just for a little bit. I have my shaker here as well. And you may see somebody who is very handsome in the background. If you can see, uh, when I look at it, it's a, the, the glass is a little bit uh, reflective and I can see my, my body in it. So I'm just going to move over here. So over here where I'm pointing, if you can see this beautiful picture, this has been hand done intuitively by a beautiful person who actually resides in Melbourne. And she used to do these spirit drawings with another lady at the Mind Body Spirit Festivals. And I had this done here in Sydney when I was there. And this is my main guide. This is my main man. This is my main guide and we were actually married in another life and we were very 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 much in love and to this day i still connect and i still love him he's with me all the time his eyes look at me and they follow me and i know that he, he's always nurturing and when i do healings and i do this work he comes in and um Oh, okay, Danielle, I'm sorry that I haven't been able to see you. But I can see what you're writing now, so that's great. So on top of his head, his name is Hiawatha. He is um, Navajo Indian, and I was his wife, and we were in the village and so on. Uh, uh, yes, I think that was her name. Um, and he has the eagle 
on his, the, the phoenix or the eagle on his head. We have the owl and we also have Egyptian hieroglyphics up there, but you may not be able to see that. Anyway, he's part of my ancestry. He's part of my being. He is part of my, my soul because he's been in my previous life. And tonight I was very, very drawn to delivering from spirit to you. Um, because it's very important to be able to connect. You know, we come on here each week and we do readings in general and guidance and so forth. But I'm enjoying coming in each week and doing some healings and insights and, and nurturing and so forth and, and sharing what I know through experience and my learnings and so forth. So just for now, I want you to sit back and I want you to, if you can, just be patient and take a breath. If you have a drink of some kind with you, water, cup of tea, like I have, whatever. Hopefully not wine, because <laughs> um, I need you with me. Have a drink to ground yourself. And I will just gently play the drum and I'll use my... I'm on the big TV. Whoa. Wish I could see that, Charmaine. You'll have to send me a picture, my darling, please. That's amazing. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to play my drum that I have made. This is a handmade drum. I have a couple of adornments hanging off it. I need to put some more, but every time I think of putting more, I just, I'm just i not sure what I want on it. So sometimes it's better to leave it alone until the time is right. That could be, you know, in a few years' time because I never know. Um, so just stay with me. I want you to ground yourself. I want you to breathe. One big deep breath in. Thank you, Lisa. So if we can all just connect now. If we can all just breathe. One big breath in. And release and I won't do it too loudly because it'll push through my mic so breathing one more time and I just want you to listen to the drum Let me know if you can hear the drum. I only need one person to let me know. I'll just fix my mic. Yes, Kurt, in through, breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Thank you, Naomi. So we're now just going to go with the drum. You can close your eyes or you can choose to watch the drum. Thank you, Michelle. we beat the drum we're settling the energy within you and around you within your body your physical being your emotional and spiritual self your soul your heart go to the heart space for this is where love resides and your heart is bursting ready receive you are wanting you are asking they are aware hey of 
spirit comes from the love and the light, from truth and honesty and with respect. As we meet you with the same truth, the same beautiful light of truth, honesty and respect. We ask that those who in spirit come and join us, our ancestors, those who we have known in this life and those in lives before us to hold us in love, in safety, bringing wisdom, knowledge, teaching us gratitude, how to be honest, guiding us to live our soul's truth. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the drum. If you've had your eyes closed and listened, just come back into the chair that you're sitting in, or the lounge you're laying on, or your bed, wherever you are. Just bring yourself back. Just give you all a moment. coming back just pop into the comments how you feel how that resonated for you could you feel the energy do you feel your heart space open
how it all felt for you, let me know. And I'm glad to see that you're all enjoying and you've enjoyed the power. Just want to give you a moment. So how are we all going now that we're all back together? One tear and many tingles for Miranda, grounded with an open heart and solar plexus for Danielle. Naomi is crying <laughs> and I'm laughing because crying is a great and it means that you connected really well. You connected well and it has reached you just divinely. I just wish that I could spend a lot more time on here doing that, but we don't have a lot of time. So um, it was only a snippet of what we can do. Peace is being felt. Um, Catherine, send me a private message, my love, and we can organize um, a session for you. So send me a DM via my business page, my love. Um, beautiful. So everybody is feeling pretty good, pretty peaceful, connected. Yes, I love my drum too, Kerry. I love my drum. So I hope that you could feel the energy of our ancestors come in as we ask them to. When you're present. I'm just... Um, If you see anybody on here, sorry, I just lost the screen. Technology's playing up again. If you see on a body on here, or you have anybody contacting you um, to get you to do um, contact them for readings or anything, I think I've got a couple on here. Please do not answer them. They're after your money. They are scammers. I'm sorry to pop that in here. So Janine was very visual with the moon through the trees and someone in white. That someone in white um, was from the Wisdom Council tonight, Janine. And the Wisdom Council being your people, your, your, your supporters, your healing team, the people that come to you to care for you and impart their nurturing and their learnings to you. So tonight, readings are going to be um, Melissa, send me a DM and we can talk about that as well. So Melissa Davies Aries, send me a DM and we can talk about your guides as well. We can um, organise a session there. So now, um, I really would like to do some readings. I have some readings on here um, to do for some people. I've written a few down, so I'm just going to see if I connect. If I say your name, please let me know if you're still on here. Okay. Um, Frida Bowie from UK and Lisa Pritchard from UK, if you're still on board with me. Um, put up a yes, please. Um, okay, Michelle from New Zealand, I'll do one for you. All right, okay. So as I call your name out, just pop up, I'm still here. I'm going to pull a card and I'm going to do a connection. Okay. Alrighty, so Lisa's still there. Yep. Alrighty, Lisa from UK. I'm going to pull a card for you, my love, and we'll see who we connect with. So Lisa Pritchard is first. Then there'll be Frida Bowie from England. If you're still there, pop your name up. 
Charmaine Baker, Kerry Magnus, I think it was, Janine Sir, Michael Davies, Catherine Hall, I'll get to you, hopefully we'll have enough time, and Lisa Pritchard we're doing now, and I have pulled the healing card of romance for you, okay? Romance, okay? Now this romance card is all about um, healing for you, Lisa, okay? It's healing of the heart from loss. Healing of the heart from loss. And I can see that the card comes with two people entwined there, which, yes, is a signal of love, a signal of romance. And in this case, it is a signal of a romance that you have had um, in the past. And this person is actually coming through. Um, he feels to be a male with darkish hair. And he has hazily type of eyes is what he's coming through as now just bear in mind that this romance is not necessarily one that was of a sexual relationship this person who's coming in okay because we can only do quick connections here um, but he was someone who you loved in this lifetime very very much and he's telling me he died at an early age so he died youngish he wasn't an older gentleman um, he seems like he was in his 40s and he has come through to let you know that he is sorry that he had to move on. He is sorry that it, that, that it ended the way that it did, but he just wants you to know that he is fine and he knows that you often think of him and you worry about the fact that he is gone and he wants you to no longer worry. He wants you to get on with life, Lisa, and he wants you to enjoy life. Um, Yeah, he seemed, he's saying he's not as young as he is perceiving to be. So that could be taken many ways. But what I'm feeling with that energy is that he was a lot younger at heart than he was at physical body, okay, is what he's saying. So um, I hope that helps you to know that um, he's okay now living in, he in the heavenly realms. If you want to um, have a full reading, anybody on here, please send me, um, go to my website and you can actually book a session with me. So Lisa, I hope that helps you. And um, I haven't seen Frida come back on, so I won't do Frida. Michelle and Borgo, are you still there, Michelle? Um, if you're there, please let me know who's there. And yes, we are sorry for any losses that may have been felt by all of us. So Michelle, Michelle Ann, I'm going to pull a card for you. You are very welcome, Lisa. A card for you. And Michelle, your card is forgiveness. You've lost somebody in life, Michelle Ann. Um, Michelle Ann Borgo, I think it was. Oh, good, you're here, Michelle. Okay, so this card denotes, and this, I'm only using the cards tonight because I want to get through these as quick as I am. And Janine, you're still here as well. Great, I'll put a mark against you so Michelle um, you've had a loss and you're having a lot of trouble Michelle letting it go um, you know you're very much uh, in what I call uh, rain to rainbows loss to love craving okay um, And th this loss is someone who was of a family member and somebody you held in high esteem. And when you lost this person, and this person is coming through as a grandfatherly figure, okay? Grandfatherly figure on the father's side is what is coming through. Um, this person was someone who really, in their own very quiet way, guided you a lot in life and you actually learnt a lot from them. But sometimes you didn't realise that he was guiding you and you didn't realize that he was teaching you so much. Um, and he he's saying he died of heart. So there was something to do with a heart, whether it was heart attack or something associated with heart. He's telling me that that's uh, what he died from. His breathing was a bit difficult towards the end. So he's telling me that. Um, he was a bit of a, a war veteran. So he was an older type, uh, older man, this grandfather, obviously. And he wants you to know that he's still with you, he's still guiding you, he's still teaching you, but he'd like you to open your heart more, please. Watch for the signs, listen for the signs. 
open your heart a bit more and he wants you to be just a little bit more loving to yourself because you're a bit rough on yourself so I hope that helps you again if you want to have a full reading you can book in so who is next um, yeah well that comes with the guiding you but you don't realize so looking for the sign so just let it flow let the reading flow the information flow and it will all gradually um, connect and as I say if you want to go in further to learning anything you can um, you can hear so Janine you said you were still on board my love so Janine I'm just going to draw a card for you my love and get a connection through and Janine soulmate okay you've lost someone very close in your life Janine um, yeah somebody that you loved when you were young now don't be tricked by the card saying soulmate and you see two little lovers there okay because these cards are only being used as a tool to um, guide you along and let you know uh, what's what's happening and this love is something that goes back from your younger years early years it's almost like you were a teenager or a bit older and it was somebody that you met that you thought you would be with possibly forever um, I don't think you I don't think you you could see outside the box of not being with this person at the time okay um, but unfortunately this person moved on but I'm not actually sure that this person has moved on in death though in the physical it feels like a death in the physical here of a relationship that broke down and moved on um, because that can that can come across well, it's like a death because it's a loss and you're grieving um, so I'm actually going to let that information flow through because I never question the information and say but you are supposed to be dead because you're not necessarily you know going to be dead when the energy comes through to me so I'm going to leave that with you but try and get past this relationship and if you are blocked in grief and it has caused a grief blockage in you and you've carried that blockage through life with you my friend um, and we can get you to recognize those blockages and to bring them to the surface and understand that you don't have to keep swimming around in that grief that you can come from the rain to the rainbows you can you can let the loss go and live with love um, and I'd love to see you do that so it's quite a combination of a lot of stuff going on there in your gut and in your heart my friend so if you want to look into that further send me a DM Janine and we can look further into that and I hope that that reading helps you okay um, Oh good, you're still there Janine, fantastic. So is Charmaine Baker and Kerry Magnus, I think it was, are you still there? Are you still there? Um, and Catherine Hall, are you still there? Come back and tell me you're still there and I'll do a reading for you. Okay. Jenna Vost. Um, yes I have somebody here in spirit and it feels like it's a it's a lady an older style lady she feels like an older style and she has um, okay Kerry cool I'll just put a little mark beside you um, Jenna she feels like an older lady she has grayish hair grayish hair um, Danielle just hang in there she has grayish hair this lady she's older and she's wearing glasses and she feels like she's sort of like a plumpish lady but she's not overweight she just has that lovely plumpness about her you know she has those cheeks you just want to touch and you know those motherly type um, that motherly type uh, I have to say it boobies you know that you when she cuddled you you just felt good is who this lady is um, she's a grandmother but I'm not sure she's a grandmother by blood to be quite honest she was like a grandmother um, she's like a grandmother so I'm not too, too sure she's not coming too clear and I think she actually before she died she had some sort of Alzheimer's or dementia or not quite that but something like that there's a bit of a, a mind bit of a mind loss she couldn't speak properly she couldn't get over what she wanted to say and she said she had lots of people looking after her P 
people were always nourishing her with love. She was always well cared for and she was very appreciated. Um, she knew you from um, little girl being a little girl um, and she's hoping that you remember her and she's saying the word uh, sorry beg my pardon the name Doris it sounds like Doris so if it's not exactly Doris it's a name similar to I would say I don't have a lot of time to connect deep but that's what she's saying and as I say because she could, couldn't communicate well she's having trouble getting her information through but she's she's here to tell you that um, you know you are leading your best life even sometimes if you don't make the right decisions you're still leading your best life and she says that you should be very proud of yourself so I'll leave that there for you okay so the other person that I wanted to really read for um, was um, Kerry was still here I think she said Kerry yep Kerry Magnus you're still here uh, Kerry I have an uncle in spirit coming through for you um, just put the cards down for a moment an uncle coming through okay I have an uncle and this uncle was somebody he was um <laughs> okay he was he was cheeky um he's showing me his cheekiness and he's actually like he's um he's dancing and he's almost dancing like he's Fred Astaire okay I can see him he's you know doing the Fred Astaire uh you know how he used to dance and he'd sort of like um click uh flick the legs so forth how he danced when he was doing tap and all that sort of thing so he's dancing and this gentleman has actually come and he's got a top hat and a cane so perhaps he was a dancer in his time and this is how he's showing himself he was an uncle he's an uncle on your father's side of the family tree he's saying he died around I think he's saying 70 or something like that and that's what he feels like he's like 70s but he felt like he was older when he died because um, he, he, he wasn't well. He wasn't well when he died. And he felt, at times, he felt older than what he actually was. Okay? Older than what he actually was. He had something wrong with his leg or his legs. And he went he went through war or there was something happened around the war time okay okay and the, he's talking about something about a bell or something a bell he's talking about a bell in your house if you have a bell let me know because he's talking about a bell and this bell you often hear it ring or a tingle or you think you're hearing it ringing and tingling and it's him playing around with you because he was a jokester so it is actually him dinging if it's not an actual bell it's something that makes a noise like a bell I can't quite get it's in the kitchen area he's taking me through into the kitchen area so when you hear that it's actually him connecting with you who was very cheeky okay so um, yeah all right, so I'll leave that there with you for the moment so that we can do another one. Danielle Stewart, Danielle Stewart, are you still there? I think you were here, but I know you had some little children you had to attend to. Um, so if you are, Michelle, Michelle, uh, was it Aries, are you still there? Let me know. If you are, pop up, put your name up. Um, so Catherine Hall, I'll do you a little reading. Pop up and put your name in. Michelle, put your name in. Um, Danielle Stewart is there. Beautiful. All right, Danielle, you're next. Okay, Danielle, Danielle, Danielle. How are you? What's going on with you, Danielle? Um, all right, you're really craving the company of somebody. Somebody you've lost, you're really craving the company. Someone who was... Um, The smoke alarm beeps even with new batteries. Ah, <laughs> there you go. There's the ringing or the dinging or the noise. There you go, cheeky devil. You need to talk to your uncle and tell him not to do it while you're asleep. Um, he wants to make contact with you, Kerry, please. Um, so ask him kindly to contact you. 
So Daniel Stewart, you're still here. Okay, all right. Danielle, as I was saying, you are craving the loss of somebody who you have lost. And I'm not too sure. Yeah, this is this is a wild one, isn't it? This is a rough ride for you, the loss of this person. Just let me see who this person is, please. Um, it's almost like he was a fatherly figure, Danielle. Um, he's coming through with that fatherly warmth. Um, very much fatherly warmth. Um, he's talking about Vietnam War. Okay, so I have to give that to you. He's talking about Vietnam War. Um, he was a vet. War vet. Yeah. War. He died too early. He died too early. He had some sort of cancer he's trying to show me. Um, there was something to do with the bowel area. Just hang in there if you can. Something to do with the bowel area. He wasn't well. Um, he also suffered with a lot of constipation at different times because of the bowel. And he says it's from diet. The diet... Um, the diet that he had back years before, he's saying, really um, buggered him up, is what he's saying. Okay. This gentleman, when he when he passed away, he, he was almost like a silver fox. He was a handsome man. He was a gorgeous man. That's what he's coming through as. But in his day, he was sort of like, oh, you know, what's the color? How can I describe it? His hair was brownish, um, hazily sort of eyes. Um, he had a lovely stature about him and he was a very loving person. And he knows that you crave him. He knows that it's been a very hard loss for you. And he, he's, I think he's telling me he only died within the last... I think he's trying to tell me, is it this year or, or last year? It's sort of like within this last 12-month period is what he's saying. And he's saying to just allow your heart to heal seek people who can help you to understand um, his loss but no he wants you to know that he's always with you please okay that's what that's what he's telling you so i'm going to have to leave that there because otherwise he's just going to come in deeper and deeper and unfortunately um i can't i can't get to the bottom of his story so that's who he's connecting through so not sure who he is that's all right danielle just when this happens, what I say to my people is just take the information and over time the information connects. But he's very much connected to you. He's definitely for you. So if he's not somebody who's immediate to you, it's somebody that you've known. So I'm going to have to give it to you. And I don't sit here to say that um, information is always totally connected and the connections are always totally clear because it's only a very small space of time that we have to do this. And I am very, very honest about that. But I would like you to take the information on board um, and just let it flow through. Just let it flow through because it definitely feels that it is for you, Danielle. Definitely, definitely. So Catherine Hall, I'm not sure if you're still here, my love. I'm not sure. Um, Paul. Paula. Uh, okay, because I've only got a few minutes left. So Paula... Um, I'll just do a quick connection for you if I can, Paula. Um, now, before I connect into Paula, I just want to let you know that I have put up there, there's a workshop starting uh, November the 11th, and that is um, Soul Ignition and Connecting with Spirit. It'll be six weekly sessions, $247. The link is there. You can go in and make your bookings. So what you'll do, do is you'll learn about spirit, how to connect, how to do it properly, what to look out for, how to keep safe. Um, oh, Michelle, you're still there. Okay. Um, if I don't have enough time, Michelle, because I've got to finish in a minute, send me a, a, a private message, my love, and I'll give you a free 15-minute session. All right. So that is for Michelle Boyce because I probably won't get enough time. Um so yeah, so join me for that workshop, Connecting with Spirit and Soul Ignition. 
one-on-ones via Zoom um, and we will learn a lot. We will learn a lot together um, about working with spirit, how to do it, the seven clairs, setting boundaries. You'll do practice readings. Um, you know, the um, you will uh, we'll talk about journaling and we will do soul journey. We will do quite a few things within that course. So it's six weeks on a Wednesday evening starting the 11th of November and it's $247. I'd love you to all get in there tonight and make your booking and come on board with me because um, it's a wonderful space to be in and you can learn so, 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 so much. Alrighty, okay, Michelle, I will look forward to hearing from you, my darling. Um, just before I do this reading, I'll do this reading for Paula, I'd like to offer everybody on here um, please like and share my business page. Follow, like, share and follow me on my business page. Share it with your family and friends as well. Um, and if I see that you come into my business page and you have liked and shared and you are following me, um, I will like you to then DM me and you can have a free 15 minute session with me and we can have a chat about your journey and what you might like to do to nurture that, to extend your knowledge, and so forth. Okay, so Paula, drawing a card for you, my love. What do we got for you? Healing. Mm, healing. I think you, this healing is all about you. It's not necessarily an ancestor coming in for you. This healing is all about for you. You've had a rough trot as well, physically, mentally, and emotionally, and you need to take your time out. All right, you need to take time out. If you're not already doing it, you need to schedule it in because you are pushing your limits, pushing your limits. See there how you're being nurtured and this is what you need. You need to change your diet. You need to get some more um, lightness into your diet, but you also need to have some fun. You've forgotten how to sing and dance. You've forgotten the movement. You've forgotten. You've left yourself behind, my lovely. So please, Paula, you need to have some more fun. I want to see you singing. I want to see you dancing. You know, like open your arms up, go to the beach and yell and scream and get in the water and paddle the feet and yahoo and, you know, dress how you want to dress and dress free, be free. This is what I feel for you. And, oh, my God, you've lost so much of that. I feel a bit heavy with the energy. So please... Get yourself out there, Paula, and have the fun. Please, my love, please, I beg of you, because once you do, I can I can see you free. It's almost like you're in the long flowing dress and you're just having so much fun and you're enjoying yourself and you reconnect and life begins again for you just how you like it, okay? So please, come on, give it a go. Don't be shy, give it a go, please, give it a go. All right, so unfortunately, we've hit just after seven o'clock um, and I'm going to have to leave it there, my friends, because um, there will be another show coming on here, obviously, in this space. I have had a great time being here with you tonight, and I'm going to come up with something really exciting for next week and hope that we don't have any connection problems and we lose 15 minutes of our space together. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the drumming and... Um, the energy of it all and the connection and the heightening of the vibration of the energies and as I say please join my workshop that's coming up go to my website get yourself booked in for the 28 day soul programs they are one-on-one -on -one. Um, do yourself a favor start to connect start to tell your story get your happiness going get your happy hats on please get your happy hats on and if you really want to get your happy hat on and you really want to get going Get in and book in one of those 28 day soul programs because we work with the elements, we work with you, we declutter you, we get you going and, you know, life just opens up big time, big time. And I want to see you do that. So once again, thank you for being here with gratitude. I'll see you in here next Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. So thank you. Have a great sleep. If you're in nighttime hours, or if you're overseas and it's morning, have a great day. Thank you, everyone. Love to all. Bye for now.